a tiny projector with a built-in battery can give you big screen TV access just about anywhere. Here are the best ones we've reviewed. If you're on the market for a new battery-powered projector, we got you covered. Whether you're looking for the budget option or the greatest one, we have an option for you. So let's get started. The GV30 is a different take on the portable projector. It's bigger than most, with an unconventional vertical design, built to incorporate both a bundled Android TV streaming stick and a 2.1 audio system. It's incredibly easy to set up, auto-adapting for different heights and angles with a superb autofocus. And for once the Android TV9 software works well, sticking closely to Google's UI and coming with Amazon Prime, Disney Plus and YouTube pre-installed, along with the Google Play Store. There's no Netflix support though, so you'll still need to plug another source into the HDMI port if you want to watch that. Picture performance isn't top-notch, it doesn't have the high brightness levels or deep blacks of the Anchor Nebula Solar or ViewSonic M2, but you get richer, crisper HD video than you might expect from a 300 lumens projector with a 720p resolution. 1080p and even 4K content can look fantastic in a darkroom. Sound, meanwhile, is a distinct step up from the competition with more weight, detail and dynamic range than most other portable projectors. You can run the GV30 from the bundled mains adapter, a USB-C power bank or the internal lithium-ion battery, although the latter only lasts for around 90 minutes with the brightness at a decent level. Go for the Solar or the M2 if you prioritize image quality, but as a quick and dirty, all-in-one home cinema, the GV30 works a treat. Its party trick is its ability to stand flat on its side or on end and automatically rotate its display to match, but it packs in more features than just that. Its built-in rechargeable battery lasts up to 5 hours, there's a full array of connectivity features including HDMI and USB-C video inputs. You can play video back from USB flash drives and micro SD cards, stream from your phone or laptop using screen mirroring, or play audio through the speaker via Bluetooth. Home cinema doesn't get more portable than the Anchor Nebula capsule. Sure, you can buy a smartphone-sized projector, but this one gives you a relatively bright 480p picture, despite its 100 lumens output, and you get good built-in audio to boot. Anchor makes its own Mini Bluetooth speakers, and we suspect the same drivers and technology are used here. As a result, you get a fairly convincing 360-degree sound with a bit more space and a spot of boom and rumble, although distortion creeps in as you push up the volume. You can connect a streaming stick through the HDMI port, but the Nebula capsule has its own built-in media player running on Android 7.1. This isn't as much of a plus point as you might expect. There's no Google Play Store and no official apps for Amazon Prime or Netflix, leaving you to navigate the browser-based apps using a virtual trackpad on Anchor's connected smartphone app. What's more, image quality isn't as good on the built-in Netflix as it is on Netflix running from a Roku streaming stick. That said, the auto keystoning and focus tools make it easy to get the best picture and you can install other apps from Anchor's own app store. In terms of picture quality, the Anchor falls a little behind the ViewSonic. While very crisp, it's not as bright and the colors aren't quite as rich. In isolation though, it's very watchable in dark conditions, and there's no easier projector to lug around and pull out whenever you can find time and space to set up a screen. Is it the best projector? No, but it's a fantastic gadget for games, TV, and movies. ViewSonic's pint-sized projector has a particularly ingenious design. Its integrated handle swivels to the front to cover the lens or underneath to act as a stand. This makes it much easier to tilt the beam upwards if you have the projector sitting below the level of your screen, and there's no need to find a prop if you use it on a coffee table or the floor. Connectivity is excellent, with HDMI 1.4, USB-A, and USB-C, which you can use to hook up an Android smartphone or simply plug in a streaming stick. The biggest downside is the lack of Bluetooth audio output, although you can plug in a pair of headphones. Picture-wise, the M1 is a big step up from the bargain basement projector crowd. While you're limited by the 480p resolution, the image is surprisingly vibrant with deep blacks and punchy colors when used in a darkened room. What's more, the Harman Kardon sound is fantastic. No, it won't be a soundbar or mid-range Bluetooth speaker, but it's more than good enough for watching movies, TV or sports events, and it helps drown out the low hum of the fans. In daylight, the picture isn't so great, and turning on the eco options to hit the maximum 5-6 to six hour battery life dims the output, but if you're looking for a solid, take anywhere projector at a bargain price, the N1 is the one to beat. 
It's neither the lightest nor slimmest machine, and it isn't battery-powered, but if you're after a cheap and cheerful portable projector for watching occasional films, sport or TV programs with the family or friends, the Jaber V7 Pro is an excellent choice. It's bright at acclaimed 380 lumens and outputs a decent 1080p image that you can adjust via the menu. The image correction feature is also handy for households with children. If the projector is moved or knocked slightly, it will automatically adjust the picture. It certainly doesn't have the bells, whistles, or Christmas of other, more expensive portable projectors on this list, but the Yaper Pro V7 is a good budget option. The free carry bag is a nice bonus too. Just bear in mind that it's not the quietest model around and produces a noticeable fan sound.